bring people out to stand here with me. I use the uh, I use Facebook, I use Instagram, and I use Nextdoor. By the way, if you use Nextdoor, I believe it's full of anti-Semites. Communist organization. Total communist yep. organization. And I was immediately uh, booted off of next door for trying to to raise awareness of the plight of the Jewish people. And so the only person that answered my call on any uh, social media was Paul Kessler. Never met Paul before. So we only were together for two to three weeks prior to the incident that happened here a year ago today. Like myself at the time, Paul was 69 years old. On this day last year, that was the last, the last of Paul's birthdays. And now I just, I turned 70 back in January. And I will tell you that my life has changed in ways I never ever could have imagined. Um, I have I've been back to Washington, D.C., and I've spoken to the senators from California. Not a very sympathetic year, but we're hoping that that will change. I witnessed the attack of Paul, and I'm a principal witness in the case. The man roams the street today, free on $50,000 bail. When I tell you that I have never experienced hate like that in my life, I haven't. The things that were said to me on that corner over there, just 80 feet away, prior to them coming over here and striking Paul down right in this spot, that stain right there is the blood of Paul Kessler, still here. And I just decided because I'm from Brooklyn, I was going to tell these two individuals exactly what I thought of them and their flag and what I would do to them. And they hung out for about a minute or so and then they realized they weren't going to get anywhere with me. 90 seconds later, at 3.18 p.m., they walked right over here and Paul Kessler was down on the ground. So they came over with a mission. They wanted to hurt somebody, and they did. I vowed that never again in this community would anything like that happen. I don't care where it is in Ventura County, where it is in the state of California, if I have to get there to show my face and put my body on the line, that's exactly what I plan to do. It's exactly what I've been doing, and it's exactly what I will keep on doing. What we saw happen last night in Amsterdam, the home of Anne Frank, is reprehensible. I don't even have the words to, to, to communicate how I feel. What happened last night in Amsterdam? There's somebody that has more information than I that will fill you in on that. But I want to thank you one and all for coming and remembering Paul on this day. His neshama is up there, smiling down. I can feel it you know, on my back. And, uh, you know, I, I just want to tell you, Paul, I, I will be here for you and your family, and I will do your name proud anywhere it needs to be said. Thank you. Thank you, John. So we come here today with the flags of Israel. We come here to stand proudly with the Jewish community around the world, the people in Israel. For 399 days, our people have been held hostage. And every day as we wake up, we pray for their safety and security. We pray they'll be returned in peace back to their families. Men and women, children and seniors, Jews and Gentiles who 
who've been held hostage by terrorists. The difference is, is we have a nation of Israel. The difference from Kristallnacht a couple of generations ago to today, the lessons from history and the lessons that Israel has given us has changed the dynamic. We pray that there'll be justice and we pray that there'll be peace. And I want to introduce now, as a representative, our brothers and sisters in Israel, the Consul General, who serves this part of the United States and has had an amazing, an amazingly difficult and challenging year since he started his service here. You can only imagine how difficult it's been for him. But he's taken some time to be with us here on this corner right now. And so I want to introduce our Consul General. Thank you very much for being here. As a representative of the State of Israel, I want to say to the community, thank you, Paul. Speak up. As the official representative of the State of Israel, I want to say to Paul and to this community, thank you for standing with Israel. Paul was an American Zionist. He stood up to terror, to hate, and to the radical Islam. Paul is a symbol of the new fighting Jew, a man that understood that there is no difference between anti-Zionism and anti-Semitism. Last night in Holland, Holland failed us again when Jews were attacked in the street. Fortunately, the incompetence of the Holland's police, Amsterdam police, is a shame in 2024. Jews should be safe in America, in Israel, in Holland, Europe, everywhere. And for us, the Israeli, we know one thing. The only one who's gonna protect us is us. It's our strength, our community, our IDF, we have a lot of good allies around the world, but we know that first and foremost, we, the Jews, need to be united and strong. We are not a friend of no one. We know that we have a love seeking peace. We are for humanity. We want people to live their own life. And we want to live in safe in Israel. After one year of war, I can tell you, we are winning against the radical Islam. We are winning against Iran. We are winning against the Hezbollah. We are winning against Hamas. And we need the Jewish American support every day. But today, I get to send thank you to Paul and to the community for your support. Stay, st stay strong, stand tall because we are winning. <laughs> no one can win against the state of Israel. We're gonna win, and we're gonna prevail, and we're gonna succeed to make sure that every Jew around the globe is gonna be safe. Thank you very much. I'm Israel High. I'm Israel.